this video, we are going to generate a clear concept about the continuous and intermittent production systems and their classifications, process production, mass production, batch production, and job shop production. So, let's start by defining continuous production system or continuous manufacturing system. These are also referred to as repetitive manufacturing systems. In other words, these are the mass production facilities that produce high volumes of the same products. So, in this case manufacturing happens in automated and special purpose equipments. For example, petrochemical, cement, steel, sugar and fertilizer industries, etc. uses continuous production systems. Now, let's have a look at the classifications of continuous production systems. Number 1. Process or continuous flow production. In continuous flow production, most of the work is done by machines, rather than humans. In this type of production process, the production is continuous, 24 hours, 7 days a week, all days in a year. Here, usually there is very small variation in the products, and the same type of products flow continuously, through a linear process. The process production system, or the continuous flow production system, is used in oil and gas refineries, petroleum refineries, also used in chemical processing, where production is required, continuously, day and night, all over the year. Another type of continuous production process is, mass production. There is a lot of confusion between mass production, and continuous production. It can be differentiated by, the amount of mechanical work involved. In mass production, both machines and humans work together. However, in continuous production, most of the work is done by machines, rather than humans. In continuous production, the production is continuous, 24-7 hours, all days in a year. So, mass production, also known as flow production, or inline production, is the production system where the production can be broken down, to small repetitive continuous tasks. So, it can be used, when many identical, or similar type of products, are to be produced, using machines, and semi-skilled workforce. The products are assembled, as they flow along a production line. The operators tend to be semi-skilled. Cheaper identical products, such as, cars, washing machines, and fridges, are produced in comparatively larger volumes, in the mass production system. So, these are, the two types of production, or manufacturing processes, that fall under, the continuous manufacturing system. Now, let's discuss about, the intermittent production systems. These are, the non-continuous production systems. So, production, or manufacturing takes place in discrete batches, or groups, rather than flowing continuously. Intermittent means, something that starts or initiates, and stops or halts, at irregular or unfixed intervals or time gaps. In the intermittent production system, goods are produced based on, customers' orders. Large varieties of products are produced, and these products, are of different sizes. The design of these products goes on changing, so, the system also keeps changing, according to the design, and size of the product. Therefore, this system is very flexible. Here, goods are produced on a small scale. Now, the non-continuous, or intermittent production systems, can be broadly classified into three types. Number 1. Batch production. Number 2. Job shop production. And, number 3. Project production. First, let's talk about, batch production. In batch production flows, the production of items, takes place in lots, or groups, or batches. All the jobs of one batch of production, must be completed, before starting the next batch of production. Examples of batch production include, manufacturing of drugs, and pharmaceuticals, and chemicals. So, in batch production, medium-sized batches of similar types of products, are made batch by batch. That is, production of one batch ends in a single run of the machine, then, 
the next batch goes into the production line, when the previous batch has taken exit. Then, another type of intermittent production system is, the job shop production. A job shop is a type of production system, in which a small amount, of a variety of products are produced. In a job shop, each item have their own processing route, and takes different paths. In simpler words, non-standardized products, of high variety or different types, are produced in low volume, in a job shop production system. Take for example, 100 units of green colored bottles, 150 units of black colored bottles, and 100 units of white colored bottles, are running through production at the same time, at separate production lines, within the same production facility or factory, so that, the finished bottles of three different colors, are obtained separately, from the three production lines simultaneously. This, is an example of job shop production system, producing small volumes of different types of products, in separate production lines. Now, the last type of production system, we are going to talk about today, is the project production. This, is a product or service based production system, where a company, accepts a single, complex, and large contract, in the form of a project, at a time. The order, must be completed, within a given period of time, and at an estimated cost. Some examples of project production system, mainly include, construction of airports, dams, roads, buildings, shipbuilding, building mass rapid transportation systems, movie production companies, drilling oil wells, etc. So, let's take a quick look at, what we learned in this whole class. At first, we've classified the production systems based on the product variety, and product volume. So, at first we've discussed, about process production, or continuous flow production, where production keeps running continuously, 24-7, all around the year. This process mainly uses automated machineries, designed for doing one particular kind of job. So, very high volume, a very low variety of product, are made through this process. That means, continuous flow production, produces similar products in huge quantities. Examples include, petrochemical refineries, edible oil refineries, steel making, paper making, beer brewing, etc. Then we've studied, mass production, which is also known as flow production, or inline production, in this case, low variety of product is produced, in high volume. Along with automated machineries, human hand is also required, throughout most part of the mass manufacturing process. Take for example, mass production of 500 shirts, at first fabric is cut, for all the shirts at a time continuously, then the cut fabrics are passed through the sewing line, all one after another continuously. So, the mass production job of shirts, has been divided into small continuous processes, to obtain the final finished shirt. Some more examples of mass production are seen in, automobile plants, food processes, beer bottling, etc. These two types of production processes, were discussed under continuous production process. After that, we've discussed batch production, in which components or goods are produced, in groups or batches. In batch production, products are produced in medium variety, and medium quantity. Examples include, production of drugs, and pharmaceuticals, chemicals, etc. Then, we've studied, job shop production, in which, a small amount of, a variety of products are produced. Examples include, painting shops, machine tool shops, etc. And, at last we've learned about, project production process, where a company, accepts a single, complex, and large contract, in the form of a project, and has to complete the order, within a specified time interval. Examples include, construction of airports, dams, roads, buildings, shipbuilding etc. These three production processes, were discussed under intermittent, or non-continuous production processes. Thank you.